I was modeling for Dolce Gabbana for many years. They were working with a stylist that was Charlotte Stockton at the time. And I was like, wow, this is the job I want to do. <laughs> like, I love this job. I did both for like a year and a half, two years maybe. And I was basically putting every money I was making on uh, modeling, on shipping the clothes. It was so expensive. I remember Saint Laurent because they had very heavy shoes. At that time I went to UPS, they weight the box with the shoes. It was like, three, like four million di lire. <laughs> For me it was a fortune at that time. In the next shoot I returned myself. Like everything to Paris with the train, like six hours and then a taxi. <laughs> it was like terrible. I kind of work my ass off, to be honest with you. And people don't get it. Like I have to prove three times of the other people because I had this, this tag on, on me that I was being a model and so I have to prove much more than the other one that actually the pretty girl was, was also good. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm still good. <laughs> I have a lot of influence, but not, not one, one only person or, or one only uh, aesthetic. What do you think about those? Very Anna, no? The voilette, because I always like the voilette, you know? For the hat. Maybe. We don't know. My mom would be so happy to see me with this hat. My family's from heart. They were not really into fashion, to be honest. They were like actually kind of against fashion. My mom did model when she was really young. I talked to her almost every day. And she said, like, you have to have a reality show on you. Only because, like, it's so crazy what you do. Like, I would like to see what you do. <laughs> Cut the scene now. Being a stylist is also like, you need to do everything to make the picture happen. You know, like, that's the, 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 the school that I learn. Uh, with Anna De Russo and then with Franca Sozzani. I have to say, I've been lucky I get amazing teachers. I met Anna De Russo in a club and she was like, hey, I'm doing a shoot for Italian Vogue tomorrow, do you want to come? I was like, what? And she would tell me, like, can you bring your own clothes? And me and I said, were like, dude, I'm shooting for Italian Vogue and I have to bring my own clothes. I started with Lobo Vogue for many years and she was like, Impossible is impossible. Dance to the six, dance to the six. Like, you have to make it happen. No matter what. <laughs> so, it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> but it's great. I always have to have a story. In my head, a girl, two girls, because I love the fact when the time when girls are two, because they're friends, go in an imaginary flower tree street. Of course, like, over the top like fashion and they dressed up to go there. I like to touch the, the dress and to touch uh, the fabrics and, then, and if I like the feeling of my hand, I know it's gonna be in, good in the in a picture. Start with that one. And sometimes you start from the shoe or you can start from the bag or you, maybe you can start for a pair of earrings and then you get all the looks together maybe and you have to kind of like play around and it's, it's a very fun process. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I think I can't do this with more than three years ago.